What's up guys, today I'll be going over everything you need to ever know about power level in Destiny 2 and how it affects your character and your gameplay. So everything from your overall average light as you see right here, to things like the individual light level of weapons, armor, and everything you could ever imagine you would ever need to know about power level. And there's a few rumors going around the community and also in the high end community that I want to put to the test and see if they're correct or not. Things like every 5 light is the only thing that matter. So you have something that's 4 in light and something 405 light. 401, 402, 403, and 404 does not matter. That's one of the rumors. And then things like once you're 1 light over an activity, that's the highest amount of light that will ever matter. So one thing that's very important about how this game works is everything is always scaled to the activity that you're playing. So if you're 300 light and you're doing an activity that's 300 light, the game sees you as being right on level. So everything is always compared back to the level of the activity that you're playing, no matter what it is. So a 300 power level weapon will act differently in the 270 Nightfall compared to the 360 Nightfall, because in one scenario it's 30 light above, and in the other scenario it's 60 light below. So the entire video we will be comparing our names to the activity that we're playing by how much lower or higher they are. So the first test will be how the individual power of each weapon affects its damage. So we're going to keep our armor at 405 the entire way through. So that's going to be the constant. And what we'll be changing is the light of our scout rifle. As you see, I have a lot of blue scout rifles. For whatever reason, they're all the same impact. Don't ask me how I got them. Don't ask me why I still have them. But I have them. Anyways, as you see, I have a bunch between like 216 to like 290. And a few in between and a few a little bit higher. And basically... We're going to use all these scout rifles in the 270 version of the Nightfall because that is the closest light activity in the game to like the range of scouts I have. And basically we're going to see how they work. So first with the 216 light scout and my average light of course is way higher. It'll be the entire time it'll be way higher than the activity because that's going to be the constant and the variable will be the weapon. So 216 light, finally get a hit. I hit 294. Now with a 232 scout rifle. As you see right here, I hit 327. Now with a 243 scout rifle, so now we're only 30 ish light below, we hit 352. Now with a 272 light level scout, so now we're actually two light above the activity. So for the first time, we're actually above the light. We hit 429. Now with a 294 scout rifle, so we're 20 over the activity, we have 484. And as you see, another 484. Now with a 299 scout rifle, so we're almost 30 above the activity, we still hit 484. So for testing, we're then put on a 380, now we're over 100 above the activity, and we still hit 484. So, basically what we've learned so far is at some point between 270 and 290-ish, it stopped going up the number that we were hitting, so there is a cap somewhere in that range, but we don't really have enough scout rifles to test exactly where that stopping point is, so we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board to figure out a different test to find where you stop getting more damage as you get above the activity. So what I found is if we go to Mars Patrol at 300 light, I happen to have a lot of scout rifles right around 300 light. As you see, Everything from 299 to 310. Then I also have this one to infuse to make it a 311. So let's go ahead and try that. Don't ask me why I have all these scouts, but I guess it's a good thing for these tests. So we're then go ahead and load up the patrol and test some of these. So first with a 299 Skyburner's Oath, now keep in mind this is a 300 power area, so we're one light under. We hit 624 for the headshot. Now with a 303 Skyburners, so now we're over the light of it, we hit 642, now with a 304, we hit 646, so still going up, now with a 305, we hit 650, then with 310, still going up, we hit as you see right here, 672, so we actually jumped quite a bit there. That was a whole 5 light increase, so obviously it would jump a little bit more than the previous ones. Now with 311, so this is over 10, light higher, 
we are still going up at 677. And I kind of ran out of scouts, so uh, just a 385, so now we're going to be way above to see if that last number was the highest. And as you see, we hit 719. So we're clearly not at the point yet. So we need to go back to the drawing board once again because I do not have enough scout rifles in this range to test either. But what we did learn from this test is that the every five light is the only thing that matters is BS. And as you saw, every single individual light increase netted more damage. So every single number does matter. So looking through a lot of activities in the game and also what I my vault, I finally found a way to test where this damage cap begins on what light level. And so we're going to use the Prestige Lightfall, which is 360 light, then all these hand cannons, which are the same impact as you see here, that range from 376 to 405. So basically the lowest one is 16 light above activity, then I have one that's 20 light above, one that's 25, and one that's 40, and one that's 45 light above. So we should be able to determine where this cap begins at with this test right here. So first with the 376 hand cannon, as you see, I'm gonna get close because hand cannons have the range drop off. That was definitely a drop off right there. Get a little bit closer. As you saw right there, I hit 2307. And just to make sure, once again, 2307. Now with the 381, so this one is 20 light above. We'll see what we hit. We hit 2369. So now we're gonna be at the 385 midnight coup, which is 25 light above. And we're going to go ahead and see what number I get this time. And I hit 2369 once again. So we finally found where that cap begins. It's at 20 light above an activity is the highest damage you will ever hit with the weapon. Now one thing to mention with weapons is no matter how low the weapon is, you will still be doing damage. As you see, the area is turning light. This weapon is 10 light and I can still hit them for a pretty decent amount of damage. So there is no downwards cap, it's only upwards. Now turning some of these numbers from the first test into data points, as you see, I made it in the parentheses say how much above or below the activity I was, then also in the right column is the number I was hitting, and turn it into a line graph. And as you see, the x-axis is power level and the y-axis is damage hit, and the line looks actually pretty linear except for the one data point at 27 and 352 it kind of kind of fits out but if you kind of ignore that it's pretty linear so another thing i can also see in this graph is that when you're extremely below the light level in activity you kind of have this like slow gain then once you get within 20 of the activity is when you get this you know faster increase of damage so as you see like the line is kind of slanted for a bit, then it kind of skyrockets around like that 20 below and 20 plus range, which would kind of make sense because it caps at 20 above. So something at 20 below would also make sense of where like that range is. So I think if you're 20, if you're within 20 of activity, either above or below, that's when you get like the most increase. Then at the top of that range, obviously you get capped and at the bottom of the range, you slowly, slowly decrease forever. If you understand what I mean. I was also able to make some estimates on the percents of each actual individual light level as you see right here. The next test I did was the reverse of the first one where this time I keep the weapon as the constant and make the armor the variable. So as you see I basically have this 380 or also a 299 version of the scout which I'm using the regular nightfall anyways so once you're above 290 that's the max you're going to get anyways. Then I basically use all my armor pieces and my other two weapons to manipulate my overall light level and make that the variable. But keep the scout rifle as the constant this time and see how this affects the weapon damage. So once again using the normal nightfall at 270 light, go ahead and load that up. So first at 209 light which is 61 below the activity. As you see here I have the 299 scout equipped and a bunch of random armor to get to 209 light. And we're going to basically see what damage I hit. And as you see, I get immunes. So, let's try again. 2010 light, which is 60 light under. Still immune. Bobble 215. Still immune. Bobble 220. Still immune. So, how about 221, which is 49 light under. Let's see. We finally get damage, 276. Alright, so now with 229, we hit 
278, so barely anymore. So how about 241? We hit 287, so once again, not too much more. Then at 250, which is 20 light under now. We hit 316, so an actual decent jump. Then at 262, which is roughly 8 under the activity. We hit 395, so another huge jump. And at 283, which is 13 above the activity. Once they finally allow me to shoot them, I hit 484, which is, if you remember from the beginning, is the cap. So once again, maxing out my light level. And shoot him again, I hit 484. So let's figure out where we stop getting punished by our overall power level. So we're at 270 light, which is the light of activity. As you see, we hit 484. So if we lower our light slightly below 270, what happens now? And as you see, I do get less damage. So what we learned from this test is that once your average light level is that of the activity that you're playing, it is no longer punishing your weapon's ability to do damage. So at that point, it's all on the weapon's individual light. So like before, if you're 20 light above, you're good to go. The final test I want to do is right here, as you see, it says higher power improves both your damage output and your defense. So we're going to test how it affects your defense and your damage resistance. So at 209 light, that shrieker kills me in three hits. At 220 light, as you see here in a second, the Shirker takes, once again, three hits to kill me. Then at 241 light, the Shirker now takes seven hits to kill me. And I went frame by frame for all these, so trust my counting. It's It goes fast, but I went frame by frame. Now at 262 light, which is only eight under the activity, it takes 13 now, so as you see, you kind of, it's pretty exponential at first. And then at 270 light, which is the light of the activity, it takes 18 now, so your damage resistance is actually pretty exponential when you're underneath the light of an activity. So now let's try above the light, so at 277, it takes 19, so not that much more. You only survive one more hit. Now let's do at 282. So 12 light above the activity. And this time it takes 19 again. So no changes yet. Then finally at 292. And now it takes 20 hits to kill us. So one more. We found another improvement. So let's max out our armor to forward to light, which is much above the activity, and see what happens now. And once again, it took 20 to hit us, so we can make an assumption that at 20 above the activity, that is the max damage resistance you will ever have compared to the enemies. So there's a few takeaways from all these things I tested. Number one, the individual light of your weapon does affect the damage that it does. And once you're within 20 light of the activity is when you get the most improvements. So once you're 20 above an activity, that is the cap and you will never hit more damage than that for that individual weapon. Another thing to mention with this test is that each individual number affects the damage of the weapons. So between 300 and 301, you actually will see the increase of damage, which is not what people thought before. The second thing is that your overall light level affects two things. First, once your average light level is that of activity or even higher, it will not restrict the damage of your weapon. At that point, the only thing that will matter is the light of the weapon, as I mentioned before. And finally, your overall light level affects your damage resistance of the activity. So if you're doing something that's 270 light and you're 250 light, you'll be taking on a lot more damage than if you were, let's say, 290 light. So once you're 20 light above an activity, that's the max damage resistance you will see against the enemies and then also the most damage you will see against the enemies for your weapons so that 20 light number is very very important it's where a lot of the caps start to kick in below and above the activity anyways that's gonna be it for the video there's a lot going on if you guys have any comments or questions i will try to respond to as many of them as i can anyways thanks for watching catch you guys next time